So the next assignment of today is one on stacks and one on text files. So for the stack concept, it is only going to be four marks for you. And the one mark you have to go through with this previous uh, documents that I've uploaded, like what is LIFO, what is push, pop. So they are very simple questions like this. So they will not ask you anything more than this, I believe, in the one mark of MCQ. And then you have a three mark program. So to go for your three mark program, there are two models that I've given. I've uploaded some samples for you along with the homework. So these are some board exam questions. So you have only two models. One is going to be with the list. One is going to be with the dictionary. So we will straight away go to our homework question itself. And all the questions are going to be in the similar model only. So here the question is so big. Believe me, the answer is going to fit in within this space. So that, that much small is the answer for this question for any or any question on stack, right? So first you start with, they've given you an end list, which is nothing but a list of lists. If you remember, if you're given, if you look at the syntax here, you can see that there's a list of lists here. And they've asked you to write two functions. One is push element and another one is pop element. We will straight forward. We will go to writing the... This my... Okay, so I just typed it off so it will save time. So let's go back. So we have to always start with the first statement is the stack name. So the stack name, I will generally say it is stack when you're studying, but here you have to look for what is the stack name, right? The stack name given is travel. Then declare it globally and then come back to your diff. So diff push underscore element of end list. This is going to be an parameter only. So you can have a different name also here. It is perfectly fine. So it takes the nested list as an argument, which is what is given down and it pushes the list object containing name of the city and country, which are not in India. Okay. So there are two conditions given here. The country should not be India and the distance should be less than 3,500 kilometers from Delhi. So then it means the distance, the third parameter is the distance from Delhi that is given there, right? So you have to straight away, you can start here. You can write very simple statements for each X in your N list, right? If X of zero is the country name, we don't, it's the state name, I believe, then one, X of one is not, you can use not equal to itself, not equal to India. And it has given both the conditions, right? And the distance is less than. So, and X of 2. Very important and very easy also. X of 2 it should be greater than, should this less than, is less than 3500. There is no less than or greater than given here. It is just. So, there are two conditions. We have combined them both. And whichever of this entry is going to satisfy it, they're asking us to add it to, append it to, push us push it to the travel object. So travel dot append X. The whole list I have to append it there. So we are done with the first part of the program. So the push element part is done with this. You don't even have to write the end list down. I've written it there only to show you how it works. But from the exam point of view, you can just stop here. There is no need to even finish anything. Everything is in place. And now for printing, they have said def pop element. There is no argument given, so don't give any argument also. It pops the object from the stack and displays them also. Also, the function should display stack empty when there are no elements in the stack. So now come back to the output format. They would always give you this. The output should be in next, next lines. Remember, it has to come in the next, next lines. And then finally, it also has to print you stack empty. So let's now go back to our program. This program is going to be a standard four lines. So while travel, this itself is enough. Or you can say while length of travel is greater than zero. So you can use anything you want. But idea is while travel is still there. While there are some elements in travel. While travel is not empty. You are going to just print travel dot pop. Remember pop will print it and also remove it from your list. So else 
you know, don't have to check if travel length is equal to equal to zero and all. You can directly say while else or yes, if you are not very comfortable, I think this is much easier. If you're not comfortable, you can say if travel is equal to zero, if length of travel becomes zero, then you can print stack empty. So you can say print stack empty. However, they have asked you same way. Sometimes they will say empty. Sometimes they will say underflow. So whatever they ask you, you can just write it there. Right. So now after th this will conclude your three marks for your program, you can, but to demonstrate it, you can always write. So after declaring the end list, I can always uh, write, call this function, right? Call this function here. So here I can give any name I want. And I will also call my pop element. I hope this will work. We'll run this. There are no indentation errors, I believe. So this is going to be uh, March 15th and this is my homework one. List indices must be integers or slices, not tuple. Where have we done a mistake? Let's check that one minute. So here I can, I, I just had to uh, remove the space bar. The space was like it was given in next, next line. So I did not, uh, there was extra space there. So I just removed it there and I think I can show you the program. So it's working there. So I have just made it into a single line because the space was there. I have just made it there. So otherwise the program wise, there is no error in the program. So this is enough for you. You don't even have to do the second part till this is what is given in the answer key. So this is a question asked in the sample question paper of your 2024. So the questions can be only at this level of complexity, I believe. Uh, so, but in the additional practice paper, they had asked you the next question. So next question, next homework question is, this dictionary model is, was asked in this additional practice paper. So it is better that we practice this model also. So this model, we can directly write this. So you have a student underscore dictionary and you have a student underscore stack. So let's write it here. So we can start with. So as usual, you can have your stack as your first line. Student underscore stack is equal to empty. Then give whatever is given here, diff push underscore elements is the code they have given. So they have given the same syntax, use the same thing for your function also. So this is your function name. So inside the function for key, in student underscore dictionary for each key in your dictionary, if student underscore dictionary of key of, if you look at the syntax here, it is marks key. This will give you the entire tuple of marks. So in this, you're going to be, you're bothered about TS3. So the format says that's the last value. So zero, one, two. So if you say key of two is greater than or equal to 80, then you're going to append then in student stack. So student stack dot append. You're going to append what? You're going to get the IDs only. Remember, this is what is more important. You're not going to append the key here. You're going to append only the key here. You don't want the marks at all. So you're going to append the key. So this is your program for the first half. First half is this. Now come back to the second one. Let's have pop elements. So diff pop underscore elements of stu underscore stack. It is a global variable. You don't have to pass it, but they have given it. So we have to do it. Removes all the elements and prints them in LIFO order. Display stack empty. So call both functions to execute query. See, they have given very clearly in additional practice paper. They are asking you to call them also. So here we have to write the full pr pr proper program. 
So for push one and a half marks and for pop one and a half marks. But since they have asked to call, if they, if you don't call, they might cut you marks here. So here it's the same program. It will not change while two underscore stack, right? This is the stack we are trying to print while it is still there. Print. The program will not change at all here. It will be the same. So you're popping it. It is gone now. Else. Print stack empty. This will not change for either your list or your dictionary program. The pop function is going to be the same. So it's a definite one and a half marks for you. So when you come out, you just have to call push underscore elements of the same thing. There's no change because we did not change any names here. So for that, yes, of course, I have to define my stu underscore dictionary as it is already given here is equal to phi colon just 8768 89 10 colon whatever right so this you have to define also first and then only you can call it here so you are pushing this and then you are calling it pop underscore elements so this is going to be for your complete program for your three marks Yes, so this is regarding two models of your stack programs. The one is list model, the other one is your dictionary model. So try out the dictionary program and see if it works for you. Okay.